guys, it's Ken from KBD Productions TV. I am in the sunny city of Aurelia, Ontario, Canada. And here is an Arby's. And I'm not sure exactly what I'm gonna order, but let's just get some food. Welcome back, please, may I take your order? Hi, uh, what do you have new on the menu? Uh, nothing currently. Nothing currently? Uh, what's your favorite thing on the menu? Well, that's tough. Is it really? <laughs> it actually is. I have to say my favorite is the Reuben, but it's pretty pricey. Uh, okay, so, so the Montreal smoked meat Reuben? Yeah. Okay, let's do that meal, and then I'm also going to do the double Montreal on the side. Okay. And that's not a meal, though. Curly fries and coke for the Reuben one? Yes, please. And is there anything else I can get for you? That's it, thanks. Yeah, Alright, thanks. Alright guys, twenty-five twenty-nine. Expensive lunch here at Arby's. Would you like any sauces in the bag? Uh definitely have the uh, the horsey sauce, please. And, and one mustard maybe. Or maybe two. <laughs> in the bag, thanks. Have a good day. All right, people, let's park it. All right, guys, we are parked. Let's go to the trusty steering wheel tray and start eating, shall we? All right, let's get this all set up. We're gonna go, we're just gonna play it by ear here. We got our straw. We got our horsey sauce. We got our mustard. I was thinking definitely mustard on the rube and not horsey sauce. I don't know what I was thinking. I guess I was thinking, I'm at Arby's and you gotta have horsey sauce, but if it's a Reuben, you gotta have mustard. We got our curly fries. Oh, don't you fall over curly fries. That would be wrong. We got one of the sandwiches, two of the sandwiches, and a bonus curly fry. I thought it was an onion ring for a sec. Mmm. All right, let's set this up and do a close up. Actually, let's eat a couple more of these fries. That was good. Mmm. Right, perfectly cooked curly fry. It's got some seasoned salt on there. It smells great. Wow, nice and hot. All right, now we can set it up. All right, guys, going in for our extreme close up of these two beautiful sandwiches. But first, over here, we've got our Coke. Over here is our munched on curly fries. Not a whole lot left after my first initial bite into that. Over here, we got our Montreal smoked sandwich, our smoked meat sandwich. And over here is our Reuben. I'm not sure which one is more expensive off the top, but when it comes down to which one you want to eat for more meat, I guess it would be the Montreal uh, meat sandwich here. Look how much more meat you get than the Reuben, but the Reuben's got some other lovely things on it. I'm sure it's got like sauerkraut. Oh yeah, there's the sauerkraut. We've got some other sauce down there. And then we've got a nice slice of cheese. And uh, let's get into this thing, see which one is better. All right, just a couple more fries. Mm-hmm. Oh, look at this one. I like when they're all stuck together, one big, huge chunk. Mm. Way to go, Arby's. Once again, check out the difference in the amount of food you get in the Montreal over the Reuben. Uh, also, I, I kind of failed to mention the beautiful marble rye that they're using. It is fresh, it is soft, smells wonderful. I think I'm gonna do the Reuben first. Cheers. Very nice. That sauerkraut. Oh, there is some type of sauce on there. And the cheese, it's all coming together really nicely. But before I move on, Let's try the a little bit of mustard. And I'm thinking mustard has to go on the other one too. I don't know. Again, being an Arby's, I just naturally wanted horsey sauce. Uh, if I don't eat it today, I'm definitely gonna save it for something I eat at home. Okay, let's put a little mustard on there. Nice chunk of mustard on your Reuben. Mm-hmm. Definite bonus right there. That's fantastic. That bread is dynamite, wow. Okay, cleanse the palate. 
before we move on, show the logo, by the way. All right, some of the meat fell out already, but again, tons of meat on that Montreal smoked meat sandwich. Yeah, I don't think they put, well, there is some sauce on there. I'm not sure what it is. First bite of that Montreal smoked sandwich. Uh, the Montreal smoked meat is great uh, compared to the Reuben. The Reuben just has some more complex flavors. Uh, again, the sauerkraut and that sauce that they put on there, plus the cheese, it's kind of like giving the Reuben an edge over this. But again, if you want lots of food, this would be the one you would choose, I would guess. Or you ask for two Reubens, I don't know. Let's got to put that mustard on there, then take a bite. Mmm. Yeah. Mustard on both of these. I guess we could try the horsey sauce, but I don't think that would be a recommendation. Both these sandwiches are awesome. But again, I think I'd, I'd probably get the Reuben next time. And you got to go heavy on that mustard. A definitely must have on your uh, your sandwich. Here we go. A little bit of bonus meat that fell out the side. Mm -hmm. I'm definitely gonna try the horsey sauce just to make sure. The horsey sauce is like a horseradish uh, mayonnaise blended together so you don't get those little bits of horseradish in there. So it's uh, more, it has the consistency of mayonnaise over horseradish, but it definitely has the kick of horseradish. Cheers. It's not bad to have on there. It is definitely spicy. If you've never had the horsey sauce, it's a gives you a little kick. I would say that the uh, the mustard is definitely better. Let's throw that out. Cheers. Well, the consensus is definitely mustard on either of these sandwiches. Uh, horsey uh, sauce definitely had no go for either of these sandwiches. But on their roast beef, it is always a go out and get it now. So let's open up the second mustard. I only needed two. I probably could have used three. Let's zip over once again to our Montreal smoked sandwich, smoked meat. Take that another big bite out of that. I wasn't sure if I was gonna eat both of these. I think I can. No problem. Back over to the Reuben. I'm gonna do this side right here. Look at that. A perfect Reuben sandwich. Mm. Yep. Reuben sandwich is awesome, man. back to Montreal smear that mustard on check out all that meat ooh la la that's a lot mm hmm more Reuben I can't get over this bread man it's fantastic Couple more bites of the Montreal smoked sandwich. Mm-hmm. The Montreal smoked meat sandwich was fantastic. Last bite. But the Reuben is better. Mm-hmm. What a wonderful combination of ingredients to make up a sandwich as good as that. Thanks, Arby's. Oh. All right, guys, we are all done. Let's wrap it up. Roll it around. See if we can get it in. We didn't get it in this time. Zero points for Ken. But let's try again. Well, there you go. Two points. All right, guys, as you can probably tell, uh, the Reuben is definitely a better sandwich. But if you want more meat uh, for your buck, 
definitely get the Montreal smoked meat. The Reuben was $7.69. The Montreal smoked meat sandwich was uh, $10.99, so basically $3 more. But again, if you're going for a better food experience here at Arby's, the Reuben is the way to go. You've heard it from me, you heard it from the guy who works at the window. It was a tough decision on his side, but him and I agree the Reuben is one of the best things here at Arby's. All right, guys, if you want to show your support for me doing these videos just for you, hit it with a thumbs up. Ding, 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 ding. But if you're hungry for more, check out this wicked playlist over here, and we'll see you over there. Bring your hunger.